So recently, we know McNabb Properties, Mark McNabb, mm -hmm. uh, has the large build, has put up a beautiful large new building downtown, and it sounds like the tables and chairs are a bit of a concern for some folks. So we know that there's a fee that's assessed to businesses that, that downtown that want to put out table and chairs. Sure. And according to the article in the paper, that was refunded to Mr. McNabb. And I'm curious, or I, I guess we're all curious, but the question we have here is why does McNabb get his money refunded for outdoor tables while other businesses have to pay? Well, technically, he didn't actually pay, so he didn't, oh. he didn't get refunded. Um, so he put the tables and chairs out there. And how that space works, so we have a, well, let me just start with, we have sidewalk uh, encumbrance uh, fees mostly because it started that um, we want to make sure that anybody that's putting something out there is not, um, it's not detracting. And so there's a gate, you know, in terms of a nominal fee uh, to, to pay um, for the A-frame, the you know, sandwich boards, for mannequins. There's a fee that you have to, uh, to pay. And that's mostly just to keep the streets not from being cluttered. Um, I think Newspapers are exempt, um, but there's not a lot of newspaper stands. I don't know if people remember those True. back in the day. They put the quarter. Was that in. back when they had the thing called? It was like a payphone, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dating yeah, it's myself. Right. It's right. Yeah, it's next to the payphone. Um, so um, he uh, and and community space. It's treated if a uh, sidewalk, community space, all of those are treated the same. They're they we view them as a sidewalk. And so um, the question that I think uh, Mr. McNabb had. Um, and he sent a representative uh, uh, to ask this on behalf of uh, his business was, this is you know, still my property. And the truth is it's not technically, it might be his property, but it's a community space that was given, that community space was given to the city to allow the density that you see in that building. And so that was the trade. And so uh, it did apply. Um, and so there wasn't a question of whether or not it applied. Uh, he hadn't paid them. And I guess the short answer to your question um, is the reason why he didn't uh, pay the fees is that uh, the city council waived the fees. So it was a six to three vote. Um, myself, the assistant mayor, and Councilor Boyack were opposed to that. Um, you know, there was arguments made that were, you know, it, it's a, should be encouraging all of those things. And while I certainly respect all of those arguments, I understand, you know, it's paying for the tables, et cetera. Um, the way that we do, the way that we do government, um, it really needs to focus on, you know, it doesn't matter how big or small you are, um, you should have, um, you should be the same in, in front of uh, the government. And so, you know, we had never had um, anybody ask uh, to waive those fees. And it is in our authority to uh, waive uh, the fees. But it gets to a bigger question of, you know, why are we doing this and why isn't it going through, you know, the the correct process and for next year to talk about it. Because maybe the sidewalk encumbrance fee doesn't apply when you have 100 tables and chairs. You know, we're trying to get back the money it takes to, to monitor all of those um, and, you know, uh, and have uh, them, them permitted. Um, so it might have not made sense to charge as much money. But that's something that, you know, you got the benefit of the bargain of the community space and the higher density. Um, this did apply and it was pretty clear uh, that it did apply and so you know I think we could have done government a little better just to say hey we're gonna look at this um, for next year mm -hmm. um, and have that conversation and then you know um, again if anybody else out there is you know that's been that's paid and they they want to uh, uh, to, to have uh, their their spots refunded you know I think you know we've set an example now as a council that we're gonna uh, waive these fees so you know have them right in um, but we could have done I think a better job of, of you know um, I guess treating every uh, one equally and, and sometimes that seems hard but it's the the best way that we can do government is just to is to make sure that you know regardless of how much government you consume um, and how uh, engaged you are uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're going to face the same um, set of rules as everybody else. And so I think we could have done a better job, and you know, hopefully next year we will. So to streamline someone else's process, were they to have an inquiry? If there is a you know, Joe Schmo business owner out there with Acme Incorporated, and he's following this story, how, who would he get in touch with? How, how he would email all the, the entire city council um, and ask for the letter to be uh, on, placed on file. Um, again, people can reach out uh, to me directly or Karen. Uh, 
the city manager. Um, it's a you know it's something that um, we have had people pay obviously the fee and we've had this fee uh, for as long as I certainly been on the council, but um, you know uh, for decades uh, before that. And so um, yeah, I would say just reach out, uh, contact you know on the website, contact all city councilors and say hey you know I paid this fee and I'd like it back. And for the most part, it's going to be nominal, but I know that for a lot of folks, you know it's not necessarily we're talking about. Uh, $6,000, it's not going to necessarily raise anybody's tax rate uh, that much, but, you know, it was all the more reason, you know, I was kind of questioning why this was even um, going to be a, an issue because it just kind of paints it in a, pers a perspective that, you know, the rules, you know, should be different, you know, at, at this scale and, you know, frankly, they, they shouldn't. So, um, you know, hope to see, you know, anybody that wants to, to write in, please do, and we'll try to get you sorted. I think that you know, we were talking about. I think we have a, a way to, to to cut checks, but you know, remains to be seen. The city usually doesn't refund fees, so um, that's a it's a brave new world. Well, you, sometimes you don't know how to solve a problem until the problem comes up. Sure. Yeah. I hopefully we're not solving a lot of problems where we have fees that we don't apply, and then we sure. refund people. You know, we should probably just get the fees that we have and agree on them, and then they apply to everyone. But uh, we'll see how that goes next yeah. year. Well, that, I think that's, a, that's where conversations come from, right? Now, a quick question, just to expound upon it a little bit. If, they, if someone, if um, Joe Schmo gets on the website and emails the city council, does that email go to all city council it members? It does, yep, yep. Okay. so it goes to all so city councils. So this wouldn't need to email each person individually? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, you can't have attachments um, in that, so, um, and then, like, we can't, um, uh, just because we're all emailed individually, just um, from an RSA standpoint, we can't respond back to you collectively. Um, so you'll get individual emails, and sometimes that's kind of annoying. But the reason is, like, the only time we have meetings is like when we we notice that it's a meeting. And if we have, um, if we have the nine of us on an email chain talking about stuff, you know, that has to be known to the public. We can't like have mm -hmm. a conversation outside of the public sometimes that makes you know uh things a little bit harder but it's always worthwhile so that like the conversations the council's having like sometimes it's like really difficult because it would have been useful from like a uh you know like a sanity check before we try to you know make the sausage uh in front of everybody but that's that's what government is at least on the you know we're not um you know they have conversations in the state house um, all the time, but because uh, of the the charter and the fact that our our business needs to be done in public, we can't respond all. So you'll really, you'll likely get a number of different emails, and the city manager is uh, cc'd on that as well. And so if there's a oh, um, a way to for her to to respond on that, uh, uh, she usually copies the pertinent counselor in her response.